So I wanted to make this video really quick because I got the recent awesome opportunity to try out a full face mask dive with the uh, College of Diving where I'm currently doing my dive master training. So I just wanted to make this video to just kind of talk about some of the benefits and the cons that I experienced and my final thoughts on buying it. Real quick, if you're new to this channel, my name's Eli and I talk about all things marine biology, marine conservation, and careers related to it on this channel. So subscribe if those things interest you, but Anyway, we're going to talk about full face masks today. So some of the benefits that I learned about with full face mask diving is number one, that there's no fogging. So the cool thing about having a full face mask is that the mask and the regulator are one piece. So there's always a little bit of positive pressure happening in your mask, making sure that no fog is actually able to um, create or like manifest, whatever. <laughs> So this is a really amazing benefit if you constantly are experiencing problems with um, fogging in your mask and this is a really big issue for you. Um, in full face mask diving, you have a little bit of positive pressure in most of the masks that I'm aware of. You get this little positive pressure that prevents fogging from happening. So another benefit from full face mask diving is that you get a little bit of a wider view of angle when you are um, on your dive. So because you have that front and side view, um, you get a little bit of a wider range of um, view. Although um, something important to think about is when you're wearing the giant mask on your face, it's a little bit harder to turn your head. So it is useful to have that wider um, kind of view across your face, but it is harder to kind of turn side to side to see things. Another big benefit of having a full face mask is that you get um, your whole face covered when you are diving in cold water. So this is a really great benefit if you are um, constantly diving in colder waters where your face is freezing. It can help keep you comfortable during those kinds of dives. And then probably one of the largest benefits of having a full face mask is that you can integrate a radio with them and you can actually talk to people. You can talk to captains, you can talk to other divers, or whoever else is connected to the radio system that you are plugged up into which this can be a huge benefit if you're trying to do something really intentional with your dive if you're a research diver if you are um, trying to get some kind of work done for some sort of job with um, a dive this can be incredibly beneficial to maintain communication with your divers and with your team the entire time and make sure uh, and limit the amount of dives that you actually have to do because you couldn't communicate it very efficiently in a single dive um, so that is a huge benefit and something that I'll definitely look further into in the future when I really get into research diving. The other really big benefit is that you have your regulator and your mask integrated in one. This can also be a con, I'm going to talk about that in a second, but having the mask and the regulator together, it makes it just one less thing to think about in your gear setup to just have the one um, instead of two devices. So now to talk about a little bit of the cons with full face mask diving. So one of the first things that I noticed when um, putting it on is that it was really clunky and made it a little bit difficult to have the f a full range of motion in and out of the water. Um, it's definitely difficult and not as easy as a separate regulator and mask because you have this like giant thing on your head. And another kind of second con that comes from that is that it can make you really claustrophobic, especially out of the water, especially if you're in heat. Um, it's really easy to just kind of panic because um, you have this massive thing on your face and it can be a little rough to get used to at first. Having your whole face confined from the outside world, especially when you're out of water. When you're in water, it's not, it wasn't as big of a deal, but it definitely made me a little like panicky just for a few moments putting it on. Um, before um, or while the, the air was getting turned on and all of that out of the water definitely like I was eager to get in the water um, 
and so I didn't have to feel as claustrophobic. Another thing that was a little weird with the full face mask is uh, clearing the nose. So since you can't actually pinch your nose to clear it, um, some full face masks allow that, but the one that I was using did not. You had to kind of push the whole mask up to press into your nose, and there was a nose piece inside to, um, that was adjustable that kind of like fits right along your nose. Um, this was a really weird thing to get used to and it would definitely have been more comfortable if I took the time to actually find um, the right fit for my face, but it was definitely a little uncomfortable um, with my nose being like jammed upward for a lot of the dive. Um, I think that's an easy fix if you um, take the time to find the right nose piece that fits you, but it was definitely something that was a little bit uncomfortable during the experience. And so another major uh, con for this kind of diving is that if you need to switch to an alternate air source, if you don't have a mask with you, you have to be blind for the rest of the dive. And this is a really scary thing for someone that's not a very confident and experienced diver. If your mask floods, if you run out of air, if something bad happens, you need to be able to take off the entire thing and have a mouthpiece separately, an alternate air source to your mouth, which can be really, really stressful, especially if you need to be communicating while that's happening and it's not a drill of any kind. Um, definitely something that doesn't happen very often, but something to think about if that were to happen. So those are kind of the benefits and cons that I drew from full face mask diving. My final thoughts on um, the whole experience and if I actually would wanna get certified, I don't know if I would want to get certified anytime soon just because it really doesn't pertain to me um, too much and I don't really have the funds to uh, get additional certifications that I don't really need right now. But I really loved the experience of just getting to do the tri dive. We got some really cool pictures from it, which was an awesome, ex an awesome benefit from it. Uh, we also, it was just a really cool experience to um, be underwater and just feel like completely immersed in it. You just don't, you you feel so much more like a fish <laughs> and so much more natural when. You don't even have to think about breathing through your mouth or your nose. It's just the whole thing is you're just, it was, I don't know. I felt like I was in a fishbowl or something, um, which was really cool. I think I would really consider getting this certification in the future when I get really involved with research diving, when I potentially need to talk to other research divers or people that I need to get important message, messages across um, during research expeditions. Um, this could be so, so useful if I had some sort of radio to accurately and quickly communicate to other people, but again, I think that would be pretty expensive to invest in for research, but um, could be a really cool benefit if I could afford it or find the funding for it somewhere. So probably won't get certified anytime too soon unless I have just access to full face masks and it's not that expensive to get certified, I might just go ahead and do it just because it's a really cool experience, but I don't know if it's totally necessary right now. So anyway, I think this video turned out a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but thank you for watching. I hope you benefited from my thoughts on this. Um, definitely drop comments below about your thoughts about full face mask diving, if you're thinking about getting certified, or if you've had any experiences related to this. Um, or if you even are in disagreement with anything that I've said, um, definitely drop comments below to just open up the conversation. But anyway, uh, thank you again for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video and I will see you in the next one.